VLSM, variable length subnet mask. When we use variable uh, length, uh, variable length uh, subnet mask, when we have different requirements, when the requirement is uh, to have different sizes, yeah, network sizes are different. This is network address, or you can uh, say network ID, net ID, or network IP address, absolutely the same thing with subnet mask. We have new requirement. Our boss is asking us to have three subnets with different sizes. Let's say boss is saying that um, he needs one subnet with 60 hosts. Second subnet, he needs, uh, let's say, 25 hosts. And um, third subnet, he needs about 12 hosts. OK? Look here, we have different sizes. Now we have to, and we have just one network address. Again, we are using our chart, network number, network IP address, subnet mask, subnet mask, IP address, broadcast address, IP. And here we have magic number, magic number. Now, when you have not equal sizes, always start from biggest size. Here we have biggest size, 60 hosts. We are borrowing, we must borrow some bits from host portion and include into network portion. Host portion is four octet. That is interested octet because interested octet means that we are working on it. We are borrowing some bits from that octet. That's why we call interested octet. Here we have eight zeros, binary zeros. This is decimal zero, but after converting, we have eight binary zeros. Four, seven, eight. Now, our requirement to have 60 hosts, we know that by default in class C, we have eight bits we have in host portion. This default formula, to the power of eight, that is total number 256. 256 total number in host portion, but we need only 60 hosts. We cannot have five zeros because five zeros will give us only 32 total number. So now 60, uh, six bits is all right. So this means that we need only six zeros in host portion and remaining two zeros, we are translating to ones. Translating means that we are including now those zeros into network portion. And the edge now between binary ones and zeros are right here, which determines magic number. Look here, what's magic number now? Two, fourth column, eight, 16, 32th, 64, 64s, and here we have 128. The magic number here, we have 64. Cisco says, use original network address as a first subnet. This is the original address, 192, 168, that one, that zero. Magic number tells us the length of our subnet. So if we start counting, including zero, 
What will be my broadcast address? Magic number is 64. That is the length. 63. Look here. I will start counting from zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, four, up to 64, 63 is total number 64. Now, what is my sublet mask now? I have new sublet mask, not default sublet mask anymore. Now I have three octets, 255, and this also. What is my usable address range? 60, 62, right? Okay, we did it. We did first subnet. Now, for second subnet, I need only 25 hosts. To have 25 hosts, how many zeros? Okay, I'm taking again for second subnet, fourth octet, which is interested octet for me. How many zeros now I need in host portion to satisfy this requirement? Five, okay? So this means that we are translating those zeros or we are including those zeros to network portion. Now those zeros are now in network portion. And look here, let's determine where is my magic number. Fourth column, eight, 16, and here is 32. And last one falls on 32. That is magic number for second subnet. The magic number tells us here the length of our second subnet. If second subnet starts 192, 168, that one, that 64, new subnet mask for second to 24. Okay, the length of second subnet is 32, which means that last address will be 95 and all addresses between 1.65 to 1.95 one that 94 are usable IP addresses for second subnet. Now, last requirement to have 12 host addresses. We are taking four octet and we have to borrow some host bits and include to network portion. How many zeros we need here in host portion for, so this means that if we convert, if we borrow those fours, we'll have four zeros. And the edge between network portion and host portion is right here, between fourth and fifth bits. And let's determine where is our magic, what is our magic number here, two scalar, fours, eights, and here we have 16. And this means that in third subnet, we have the magic number 16. This means that we increment this network by 32 magic number. Third subnet will start 96, right? Let's uh, subnet mask. And what is my broadcast address here? 111. Any addresses between 197 to 1 1.110. 1 okay? Look here. Now, how many addresses we saved for our company? Third subnet ends on 1.111. 1 and now we have for future 100. 40 IP addresses. And look here, custom subnet masks are different. That's why we call this VLSM, variable length subnet mask. No more equally divided network address because we have now different requirements. That's why we use this technique, this method for subnetting. And look here, in subnet masks, I have here 
in decimal notation, right? Instead of typing decimal in decimal way, my subnet mask, I can type slash 26. Here, slash 27, slash 28. What does it mean? We know that if we convert, look here, previous three, uh, three octets, all 255s, decimal 255s. If you are, we translate those 255s, we'll get string of 24 binary ones, 24 binary ones plus four binary ones, we'll get 28. That's why slash 28. Slash 28 means network address with slash and number. That number tells you that how many binary ones you have in network portion. And immediately we, you think that subnet mask always tells you where you have network portion and where you have host portion. Instead of typing Subnet mask in decimal notation just much easier for you, slash 28. And look here, I have here slash 27. This means that I have 24 string of binary ones plus three more binary ones. It gives me 27. That's why instead of 255.255.255.224, I can type slash 27. Slash 27 means that I have string of binary ones in network portion and remaining five zeros I have in host portion. And we call this notation CIDR, classless inter-domain routing. See here we have decimal notation in subnet mask, but this is CIDR notation, classless inter-domain routing, okay? I hope to, today it was interesting uh, day. Now you know much about IP addressing. If you need uh, more explanation about your homeworks or just let me know.